Hey guys, today I thought I would make a Halloween themed charm using the decals from Daiso, some NR color, and this is resin pigment that I am currently in love with. It is clear color and the colors turn out beautifully. I have a little bit of white pigment here, some UV resin, and a bezel that I've already painted white so that the color will look much, much brighter. Other tools that you may need are maybe toothpicks, something to put your bezel on, like a clear folder or a piece of paper or anything, you know, just so you don't ruin the surface you're working on, and I have a UV lamp, of course, but if you do not, you can use sunlight to cure your UV resin. I'm going to start by squeezing out three little dollops of resin. You don't need much. A little goes a long way. I'm then going to add white pigment to each little dollop because we want it all to look very sparkly. We'll put a little bit extra in there. I'm going to go ahead and mix this in very well. Once the white pigment is mixed in, I'm going to take my clear color and I'm just going to take a dot of it because this really goes a long way. Just a little bit to color the resin orange. And of course you can always add more if you don't get the color you want. You just don't want to go overboard because if you put too much in, the resin will not cure. I'm going to actually put another drop in there. There we go. Once you've got the orange mix in, go ahead and take a drop of yellow and mix that in as well. If you don't have NR color, you can use any pigments that you want. You can use colored pigments too. I just like doing this because I feel like I can control the color better. And I didn't have a really nice yellow pigment. I'm sure you guys are starting to figure out what I'm going to do with these three colors. I'm going to start by putting the orange in the middle here and just going across. Next I'm going to be putting some white at the top. And finally some yellow at the bottom. I'm not too worried about how it looks where the lines meet because I'm planning on putting decals over this and I think it'll cover it up nicely but if you want, you can make the lines as straight as you want, or you can blend it as much as you want. Now that I have my candy corn design, I'm going to pop this into my UV lamp and let it cure. Once your piece is cured, you're going to want to decide what decals you want to use. I think I want a pumpkin and a ghost. Hmm. Ooh, that castle's really spooky too. I don't know, I'm gonna play around a bit and I will be back to show you guys what I decide on. This is the design that I ended up with. I do wish the pumpkin was a little bit brighter, but, you know, it's from Daiso, so you can't really complain. Finally, I'm gonna put the doming coat of resin on. And, again, don't go overboard or this is going to overflow. So, just a little bit and I'll spread that out with a toothpick. Finally, I'm going to go over the piece with a lighter to pop any bubbles, and now it is ready to go in the UV lamp. Ta-da! And here is the completed piece. If you want to spice it up a bit more, you could add some glitters in, you could add a rhinestone on top, there are so many things you could do, but I tend to like the more simple pieces, so I'm very happy with this design. I hope you guys liked this video, and I hope it gave you some ideas for some Halloween charms. I know that Halloween is ending soon, but you know, you can get some last minute Halloween crafting in. And I will see you guys next time. Bye!